In this video, I wanna talk about a really impressive AI feature that's been around for a few months, but literally nobody talks about it. And it's incredible because I think if you utilized this feature in your day-to-day -day workflow, you could dramatically enhance the quality of your projects, all the way from films and commercials to graphic design and even web development. What am I talking about? Well, specifically, AI can be a creative director for your projects. And I'm not just talking about uploading your scripts to ChatGBT. Inside of Google Gemini is the intelligence necessary to review your specific projects and give incredibly detailed feedback in return. Now, this isn't just looking at the transcripts of your films, it's actually understanding the audio, the visuals, and really how everything comes together to tell a very compelling story. So in this video, I want to show you a few specific ways that you can use this workflow in your day-to-day -day work. So let's hop in. So first things first, what you're going to need to do is hop over to Google Gemini and make sure you're in the 2.5 Pro version. So for our example, I want to use this commercial that I created for an example inside our AI advertising course. Let's take a quick watch. In a world that moves too fast, stillness becomes power. Not empty, but full of presence of intention, of quiet strength, drawn from earth, crafted with care, designed to ground you. This is your ritual, Santal and Vetiver by Salt and Stone. Okay, so that's the project that we're going to be working with. Now let's hop into Google Gemini to get feedback on how we can improve it. So. In order to use this feature, what I'm going to do is literally drag and drop the video directly into Google Gemini. And for our prompt, we're going to say, you are a director, I want you to give me feedback on how I can make this a world-class project. Give me specific direction and insight with attention to details. And go ahead and click enter. So what's really cool is Google Gemini can take really long videos as well. You just may have to render them in a smaller resolution format. So the feedback took about 30 seconds for this 30 second long video. Instead of me reading through all of the feedback because it would take like 10 minutes, what I'm going to do is take a few of my favorite sections and run it through 11 labs. So let's listen to the feedback and see how these changes might affect the final piece. The VO says, in a world that moves too fast. But we don't feel that world. The serenity has no counterpoint. Let's hint at the fast world she's escaping. This can be subtle. At the very beginning, over the first wide shot, let's add a sound design element. A faint, distorted echo of a city. A distant siren. A phone notification. A chaotic hum that quickly fades as the natural ambience takes over. This immediately gives her journey purpose. She isn't just in a quiet place. She is sort it out. The woman is currently a passive observer. She stands, she feels, she washes. The magic, the floating stone, happens to the world around her. Let's give her agency. The floating stone is the key. Right now it just appears. Let's tie it to her action. What if, instead of the shot of her hand dripping water into the basin at the five second mark, she reaches down and touches a stone on the salt flat. As her fingers graze it, that's when it begins to levitate. This transforms her from a witness to a conduit of this natural power. The product isn't just something she uses, it's an extension of this connection she can create. She is the stone. The sound is the soul of this piece. It's good, but it can be exceptional. I want to hear the texture of this world, the low whistle of wind across the vast flat, the faint crystalline crunch of salt under her bare feet. We don't need to see it, just hear it. When the water drips, I want the sound to have a cavernous reverb, emphasizing the scale of the landscape. For the floating stone, let's add a very low frequency, almost subsonic hum. It gives the magic a sense of weight and power. The piece is all stillness, which is the theme, but constant stillness can become static. A single moment of dynamism will make the surrounding calm feel even more profound. Let's add one shot where the wind suddenly gusts, whipping her hair and the fabric of her dress dramatically around her. A slow motion shot of this chaos, held for just two seconds before returning to perfect calm. This visual break will reset the viewer's palette, 
and make the return to stillness feel like a deliberate, powerful choice. Holy smokes, that is incredible. And the cool thing is inside of Google Gemini, it also created just a quick summary of all of the actions we can take to improve this specific project. Now, what's really cool about using the system inside of Google Gemini is the fact that it works with a wide variety of media types. It's not just text that you input, it works with everything from audio to PDFs. You have the ability to upload links to websites. So altogether, it's a really powerful way to get direct and specific feedback on your creative projects. Now, is the feedback as good as if you were working with a professional director? Not necessarily, but a lot of times it will give you feedback and points that maybe you wouldn't have normally thought about. There have been many times that I've used this specific workflow to critique a project that I'm already getting feedback from, from real world professionals. And a lot of times it'll bring up two or three points that actually make it into the final piece. Of course, if you want to learn more about professional workflows, including quick tips like this, be sure to check out our courses over at Curious Refuge. We love talking about interesting workflows and techniques that you can use inside of your creative projects. And be sure to like and subscribe here on YouTube to get even more tutorials and AI news directly here on the platform.